let's try this one now. So a titration was performed on 25 mils of an unknown hydrochloric acid samples using 0.09134 molar sodium hydroxide as the titrant. It required 35.05 mils of sodium hydroxide to reach the color change endpoint. What's the molarity of the HCl solution? Okay, so the first thing you have to realize is that you're reacting HCl with NaOH. This is a neutralization reaction. So you're going to make um, H2O plus NaCl. So double displacement, acid base neutralization reaction, right? Balanced already. Uh, so now let's write down the information that it gives us. So it says the volume of the HCl is 25.00 mils. Um, it also says that, or we'll say solution. Um, it also says that um, the molarity of the NaOH solution is 0.0. 9134 molar sodium hydroxide. And it gives us the volume of sodium hydroxide used. Um, volume of NaOH equals 35.05 mils. Okay, what's the molarity of HCO? So don't do a M1, B1 thing on this, okay? So this we have to use the reaction equation to do moles to moles and all of that stuff, okay? So um, some of the things that we can change really quick, let's just change this to moles of NaOH per one liter of solution. Okay. Um, Let's change this. Like, let's figure out how many liters of solution we have. So, Ryan. Okay, we're going to go fast. Okay, the camera's dying. So, okay, so in order to do this, I'm just going to do it. You guys can watch it later, okay? Okay, so that's going to kill that, right? So we've got that many moles, so that will give us the number of moles of any OH we've got. Okay, so let's figure out the number of moles of any OH. It's uh, 6.78 times 10 to negative 4. So take this divided by 0 
0.02500 liters of solution. And I get 0 0.128. Four, four, four. So one, two, eight, one molar HCl solution. What you guys get? Same thing. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. Quick. If there's any questions, quick.